Good morning, guys. Crypto Savvy here doing a Litecoin update. It's going to be a short video this morning. Um, I woke up kind of late, got to get going. So, but, anyways, stick around. We're going to look at Litecoin and see where we might be headed. All right, guys. Good morning again. And I wanted to start out, as always, by saying I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And this is my opinion and my view of the market only and shouldn't be taken as financial advice in any way, shape or form. So with that being said, if you're doing any investing or any trading in the market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research because this market can be extremely volatile. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, we're going to look at Litecoin today. But before I begin, uh, would you please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and Give it a thumbs up if you like the content. <clears throat> also, tick the little bell if you want to get notified when I post videos. Keep you up to date. So, yeah. Um, also, comments on the bottom. Appreciate it if you leave a comment, if you have any. And let's begin. Looking at the daily of Litecoin, um, this falling wedge here that we seem to have broke out of. It just went sideways. So, not too convincing to me but let's zoom in a little bit and kind of look at the on the daily see where we're at here you can see i got the i have this green channel here that we've been staying in we popped out a little bit here and i've also drawn what looks like a rising wedge um, using the, the bottom of the wicks and as you see um a wedge usually goes by a b c E and E and then usually you know a rising wedge usually breaks down but that is just what I'm seeing right now and by looking at this it looks like we're going to stay in this green the, the shaded channel here it looks like we're really trying to stay in there unless we break this bottom the bottom of this channel here and if we do break you know we have a support still sitting at around the 2977 area that's a, that's a key area to watch guys if you're if you're charting i suggest you draw you start learning to draw, draw trend lines because they will um, help you out with if you're trading you know they're good indicators you know when we break this like i said this resistance right here at 29 i think it's around 2966 2960 somewhere in that area if that breaks um, with conviction you know our next line of support is around the 2672 area and again that's if we break down from here and and if we break that support we're looking at a double bottom at 2214 and if that breaks you know there may be a massive sell-off and the capitulation candle that everybody's talking about but you know i'm not totally convinced of that um, nobody knows exactly what the market's going to do and if they tell you they do they're you know just BSing you. So, anyways, um, back into this. You know, we we could bounce bounce up and, like I said, touch the top of this channel again or the top of this rising wedge. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Seems to be you know real choppy lately. And let me go into the it, it, let me look at the RSI first real quick. You'll see this rising broadening wedge I had drawn. And it looks like we popped out of it. And now the bottom of the wedge is turning into resistance on the RSI. Let me zoom in a little. Um, if if we do do the move up I was talking about in that channel, we should pop back in here and then maybe test it, the bottom of this uh, wedge again for resistance. Um, and then and move up from there. Or we get rejected right here and down. So we should know um, pretty soon today which way that's going to go. But let me go back into the four hour here. We'll zoom in a little closer and kind of see what's going on. Some things I was looking at um, yesterday, I had this um, symmetrical triangle drawn here and we popped out of it, came back down, tested the bottom of it, which aligned with the bottom of that that green channel and then we're pop trying to pop back up from here um i do believe we're going to get at least back up to around this 33 17 range 
at least because if you look at, at how this market's been moving, let's get into the one hour. Um, like I said, this could be a quick video. I'm not going to stick around too much longer, but you can see how every time we have this chop and make these BART patterns, you know, and here's another one. We got it shot up, some chop action, and then straight down another BART. And I believe we're going to have another one here and pretty much erase the move from yesterday. It's usually what happens on the weekends. Um, I've noticed a lot of the times whenever we make a move on the weekend, it gets it, it gets erased in the beginning of the week. And that's what I see happening here. I believe we're going to, like I said, go back up, test this area. And if you look at it, me, this is a one hour, so it's kind of kind of tough. But if we, we draw a trend line crossed here, I know my chart's kind of messy. Apologize for that. Then draw another one across the bottom here where I already had that little one. As you can see, it, it looks like we may be forming another channel here, but I really would like to see us stay inside the bottom of this channel here. Coming up this way. Let me get, get this out of the way again. I um, mean, kind of bounce in here and maybe come up and test this 3470 area. Um, again, we're on the one hour. Let me look at the EMAs real quick. I have the the 8, the 13, and the 21 EMA that I watch. And it's looking like they're all trying to cross here. Sorry for getting dizzy watching the chart, but looks like they're all trying to cross right here. Um, the 13 has already crossed the 8. This one up here is the 21. Or I'm sorry. The 8 has already crossed the 13. It looks like it's trying to cross the 21 here. Um, and, and this is looking kind of bullish to me. Like I said, I, I look for this to erase the move over the weekend and at least get up in this area, possibly touch the top of this right around 3330 area. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. Um, I will try... If anything changes too much, I'll try to make a video this evening, depending on what time I get home. But I appreciate you guys for watching. And again, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Should be right over my head right now. There should be a Crypto Savvy logo. Click that and then click the little bell if you want to get notified when I do more videos. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget the thumbs up.